Hey, this is Brother Barnes. I want to talk about writing a synthesis paper. Bear in mind, before we go any further, I am not an English teacher. I am just a brother in the struggle. I like blogging, I like videography, and I want to get better. Number one, I try to understand the assignment. As I peer-reviewed some of the other students in my class, the one that I'm taking right now, one of the problems that I saw is that some students sincerely did not understand what the teacher was asking for. So read through the rubric, read through the instructions, be clear on that. Also formatting. If you're, if I am writing, if you're writing an MLA or uh, American Psychological Association, Chicago style, whatever style that is being requested, we need to pretty much have resources that we can depend on so that we can make good choices in formatting so that our paper will at least appear to be on target before we even get started. And that leads me to the next thing. Do get started. Title and save your uh, document. Do not write and forget to save. I have lost so much work over the years doing this. Do get started somewhere because I find that once I get started, I get more and more inspiration as I go. In the project, in the synthesis writing project that I was given, by the time that I did the synthesis project, I had also learned about ethos, logos, and pathos. And I learned that ethos is about building trust with the reader. Uh, logos is about, you know, facts and figures that can help the reader accept the information and pathos is appealing emotionally. So whenever I wrote this synthesis paper, I also attempted to summarize and compare the different writers that I was analyzing and, and see how in fact that they were using these elements of writing. I, I thought it was a great exercise. I think it's just beautiful. Pause and reflect. It's time to get up and go do something else. And I'm talking about maybe even overnight or days. I would say get started well ahead so that you can have plenty of times to do multiple revisions. Please remember to do your spelling and grammar checking. Peer review is also always great. That way, if, if you or I, if we are way off target, we can have someone to kind of reel us in and uh, get us refocused and be more clear in what we present to the outside world. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to become better writers and better speakers and better convincers of the masses. This is Brother Barnes. Keep up the good work. Keep doing the good things you're doing.